Hi guys, how you been? Where you up to? So, you know, the Winter Hymn event obviously is ongoing right now. I'm currently still sitting on level 6 because, well, you know, it's Christmas, everyone's got their own stuff to do and basically I never take my phone anywhere with me if I can help it because, you know, who, who needs 2 billion notifications while you're busy there, you know, trying to open up Christmas presents. But on level 6 we have this Dragon Fury quest that we have to do, and you know I've shown this off before, like the easy way to finish off the Dragon Fury quest during these solo events, but obviously we have a higher level account and we have a lower level account, but both of these work essentially in the same way. So if you are struggling with this level 6 quest, this is essentially how I do it on my Android account. So the main part of this is you need a dragon that is a much higher level than your other two dragons and the dragons that you're facing. So we've got our Rust Dragon here, and we start off by popping our Earth Shield onto our level five, uh, what is it, Brick and Mask Dragons here. And so then they can just keep using perfect hits on these enemy dragons. And these enemy dragons are like level 10 to 11, I think. So the dragons that we have aren't actually gonna kill them really quickly but they will survive the attacks of these guys using the stone shield from our rust dragon. So you can basically just spam these guys for as long as you want. I mean, if you use moves that are weak against the enemies, you will get a few more turns out of them as well. But this is the tried and tested easy method to get these dragon fury quests out of the way. I know that if you don't have a high level earth slash water dragon, this can be a pain, but the earth shields in particular are the thing that make this so easy. So I would recommend everyone at least have say like a level 20 earth dragon and just use that on one of these earlier fights and then just build up your dragon fury and get it over and down skis with. So, you know, I only needed to do two of these to complete the rest of this level six quest but it's easy enough, it's just a little bit grindy. I know that it can be annoying, and I know that, um, you know, it's probably one of the most grindy quests out there, but at least it doesn't take very long, and you can get all of them done pretty much instantaneously. So, you know, thank you to our Rust Dragon. He may not be the best dragon in the game, but he definitely does come in handy at certain times. So, will I be able to do this event? I believe so, but um, from this point, we're gonna have to be a lot more strict about our usage of time. And back on over to our main account here. I have not been playing it. I have not been home. We do have a couple of dragons to hatch that, you know, we've hatched a billion times before now. So we've got the Agnes dragon, who is one of those new dragons that came out in the update. And we have an Imperial dragon as well. Again, I'm so happy that the Imperial dragon was finally released and like actively breedable, but he is making life a little bit of a pain, to say the least. But on top of everything that's been happening, at the very least, we did manage to get hold of the Dragon of the Week, because the present dragon, if you weren't aware, does have a breeding time of one day, non-VIP, and at the moment we do not have VIP active. I will tell you right now though, that I did purchase the clam subscription while it was on sale, because, you know, it's going to be a lot more worth it in value for me to keep VIP on, and that is pretty much the only thing that those gems are going to be used for. Just VIP. And that is it. That's the way I like it. And one final thing is that on top of everything else and all the bundles that we've been having, we seem to be having these really cheap bundles coming and going on a cycle. So the other day we had the Dainty Dragon Bundle, which was really cheap. And now we have this bundle here for the wind-up dragon where you can get him, you can get a legendary habitat and 100 gems for £1.69p, it's £2 on mobile. I hate the fact <laughs> that you get, it, you get charged more on Android compared to PC because of the different stores, so, you know, that, that's a, a big, big angry moment for me, but hey, I'm glad that I don't use my Android account very often because of that. So, if you want that bundle, I've said it to a few people in the Discord server as well, but um, it's not a bad bundle by any stretch because compared to some of the other bundles out there, £2 is a lot cheaper. But, you know, I already have the wind-up dragon and there's probably a good chance that he'll come back again one day 
as a dragon of the week breeding or an event dragon. So you need to decide for you whether you think two pounds is worth it. Personally, I think that's around about the level that most dragons should be as a default. So that's that's the only the issue that I have. I just think that the dragon should be cheaper in general. So <laughs> Two pounds is still a little bit more expensive than I'd like them to be, but obviously I do get that if they made the dragons too cheap, people would just instantly buy all these bundle dragons and get a massive boost in the game. So I don't know, you know, one pound seventy p is not a lot of money. I don't know what that is in your own currency, but probably not a lot still. But yeah, that is the the current bundle that is on. I'm I'm still. Wondering what other bundles we're gonna see and I am waiting for some notification on what the New Year's event or New Year's Dragons are gonna be if anything Maybe they posted about it on the forums, but to be honest with you. I have not checked the game law forums I haven't checked the game law Facebook page To all of those of you out there that just don't check any DML social media apart from like YouTube that's sort of how I've been the last few days I mean it is Christmas and everything I believe that most of the Gameloft employees are um, away for Christmas anyway, so I doubt there'd be any posts regardless, but you know, just point it out there. You know, I've been busy. I'm sure you've been busy too. I'm sure my, almost everyone has been busy, especially those in you know, Europe over the last week. And yeah, I'm going to be busy as well for the next few days as well. So that's the reason that uploads have been like all over the place. It's the reason that we haven't been able to live stream the last week. Which does feel pretty bad. But don't worry. You know, it's a special period. Sometimes you just got to put other things first. I mean, I'm still around. I'm still trying to do the event. It's just, it's just a troublemaker because you have to come back every hour for some of those tears slash levels and man that can be very tedious it can be a big pain in the butt cheek sometimes but hey I guess that's what we get if we want to get that that cheeky white salamander we gotta do it right I do hope that um, I can get it finished I'm not gonna wake up in the middle of the night to do it though like I'm just throwing that out there I'm not gonna be waking up at all hours of the night to try and finish off the event it's not worth it to me. I'm not going to do it. If you want to do that, power to you. And I admire your dedication. But I've done that too many times in the past. I just want this Christmas event to be nice and smooth. Just dealt with in a nice, calming manner. Because, I mean, with the Aphrodite event, obviously, we didn't manage to breed her. We didn't manage to get the Lantern Dragon from the Gathering Light collection. Because we missed out on two of the dragons for it. So... Rather than panicking and going, wow, I hate this game because I didn't get lucky. You know, I don't even care too much. We're just gonna chillax in DML, see what the new days bring. So, instead of going full try hard, we'll all just enjoy the game at our own pace for a little bit. I mean, that's what you should be doing anyway, because there's no need to really, you know, stress over a lot of the events. But hey, that's up to you. You do what you want, I do what I want. And oh, we can't even refresh because we don't have VIP on at the moment. Wee, wee. That's a baby rage right there. I can't even afford food for the farms anymore because I've spent it all. That's a super feels bad, man. But, you know, anyway, for now, I think that is going to do me in DML. So, like I said, I'm sorry that the uploads haven't been super consistent. I hope you do understand. And, uh,. You know, we will be back to DML as per usual, probably after the next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing that Christmas event. I hope you do too. And I hope you get all of those cool rewards out of this event. Main thing is Violin Dragon at a minimum. And getting the Snowflake Dragon would be the most ideal situation. But, you know, just do what you can. Don't stress over it. Don't ruin your Christmas to do a DML event. At least probably try and get the festive habitat because they're pretty cool. But anyway, I've rambled for too long. So I thank you for joining me. And until next time, I shall see you then.